Hey everyone, Michael here. While I work on my next surprise review, I figured to give you all something in the meantime, I'll do more basic first thoughts in video form, starting with the 2007 anime movie TMNT. As far as the other Ninja Turtle movies go, I liked it more than the 2014 version, and while it's been well over 15 years since I saw the live action films from the 90s, it's safe to say it's better than the third movie, and I don't know where it stacks up when compared to the original film and Secret of the Ooze. As a standalone movie though, it's actually not bad. The voice acting is pretty good. It was nice hearing the late Mako as Splinter. That was a casting choice I could get behind, as well as Patrick Stewart. He did a fine job as Winters. And it was interesting to see Chris Evans around the same time he played the Human Torch in the Tim Story Fantastic Four films, but before he would become a household name as Captain America in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I thought he worked off Sarah Michelle Gellar well enough. The animation by Imagine Studios by 2007 standards is actually well done. I like the art style of the Turtles, as well as other characters like April O'Neil, Casey Jones, and Karai. The way they animated the fight scenes really worked for this movie. The story is admittedly really weird when it comes to this legend of a warrior that, while he and his generals became immortal, with the latter being turned to stone as a result, and unleashing a whole bunch of monsters onto the world, which coincidentally all of them just so happened to be in New York after he opened this portal, it's at least coherent. That said, something about the dialogue feels like it could have been better. Like the story, it's really weird to describe. If I was to watch it a few more times, I could find a few things to nitpick about, but currently, I think it works well enough as a Ninja Turtles movie. Overall, TMNT is fine. It's far from the worst Ninja Turtles movie, but whether or not it's the best, I really can't say. As far as a recommendation goes, considering it seems to have elements from the 90s films like Shredder still being dead, I don't think it's a good start for newcomers, and while I was okay with the story being really weird, I could see how it wouldn't appeal to everyone. Not to mention, I wouldn't say it's a movie that you should own a copy of, but if you have a Netflix account, you could do far worse with 86 minutes. That's really about all I could say on for a first time viewing, so this has been Michael Schomer, and I'll see you all next time.